And my piece is called Mirror, Mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Who are those who want to succeed? Who are those who beg on their knees? Why do I look at you? Why do I pay attention to you? Why do I sit down, stare at you, only to drive myself into insanity, thinking of a lesser version of myself? No, not myself, my being, my body. I say, I say you can't touch my subconscious nature, but you, not saying anything, are able to bring chaos and discord to my life by tearing down the one thing that everybody sees in me first, my body. I look at you expecting to call myself beautiful, to see it in you, but what I get is trash. I'm trash. I run away from the world to seek solitude, but it seems everywhere I go, you find a way to haunt me. No matter where I go, I see you, two of you, in the front and in the back, with a sea of infinite spectators judging me when it's only my reflection. Mirror, mirror that I see, how do you cause human absurdity? It seems that every time I wake, I see human suffering in the make. How are others able to look at you in the eye and say that they are beautiful, while I look at you and see an objectified being who is torn down, broken inside, but is somehow still able to smile? How can one act jubilee and ecstatic when for a fact that will be stripped away from them at any time? Smile in the mirror, do that every morning, you'll start seeing a big difference in your life. Well, I must be doing something wrong if I smile in the mirror and only feel a piece of myself being scratched away. This relationship is full of mixed signals. I still keep getting better. One day you look at me and call me radiant and graceful, but then I see it's just an image I just want. I turn around five minutes later and you call me insignificant and unrefined. You hold me down, strap me in a car going 200 miles per hour in a dark dark tunnel for a collision course for, for a wall of my insecurities, doubts, and self-hatred. And within inches of crashing, you take me out and let me see freedom for mere seconds, only to be strapped back down and repeat the same thing that we've been doing for years. All we're waiting for is the moment that we do crash. Silver shards flying in our directions, but we don't flinch, we don't move. We already got used to the pain we both give. Mirror, mirror, still in time, doing images that mess my mind. This is where you led me, with this continuous pattern. I've looked deep within the Oculus and has sent me here, here to a place that I question but can't find enough strength to answer. Maybe it's because we've been here before. No, I've been here before. I keep forgetting you're my reflection, my mirror image, my faulty being. Look at me. Tell me something that I can hold on to keep a bit of my sanity I have. Look at me. Tell me that I'm normal, that the things I do aren't strange or suspicious. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all?